going on everybody? So I'm gonna show you how to make a parameter change and change the speed on your Cummins ISX. X15, same thing. All you're gonna need is your computer. Again, make sure it's a Cummins ISX, X15, whatever it is. You're gonna need your software. Let me open this up. Very simple, very easy. You're gonna need a few things. Of course, your computer. You're going to need your software, okay? In this case, it's going to be your Insight software. Okay, next thing you do is cycle your key on. You're gonna plug in. Okay, like I said, next thing you do is plug in with your nine pin. Make sure it's got that little notch. It goes in the correct direction, plugs right in. You're gonna verify that because you're gonna have your power source. And then you're gonna grab and connect to the USB side of your laptop or your device, whatever works for you. Now, I don't know if you can do this with J-Pro or other devices, but I know we can do it with the Insight. So that being said, once Insight decides to wake up and connect, I'm gonna show you what to do next. All right, guys, so once your software opens up, you're gonna go ahead and click on the left-hand side where it says connect, connect again, and then it's gonna do its thing. This takes the, probably the longest or one of the things that takes the longest to connect. That's just the way Cummins works, so be patient. Once it connects, it's gonna pop up a create image, and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, guys, so once it connects, it's gonna ask for an image. I usually just say yes. You can say no or cancel, it's up to you, nothing will happen. Click on okay, click on okay again. It's gonna create the image. Uh, it takes a few seconds, no big deal. Once it does that, I'm gonna show you what else to do next. So bear with me, guys. Uh, let's see here, next is next. We're gonna go down to our Features and parameters. Click on that. It's going to open up the window. This takes uh, takes a few seconds. Again, it's going to read the information from the ECM and it's going to pull it back to your computer so you can read it. And again, key on, engine off. Make sure you got that going. And let's wait. Okay, guys, and we're back. So we are connected. Everything is communicating correctly. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. As I mentioned, vehicle speed source you're gonna go actually no i take that back fuck that one up sorry about that guys okay guys once it connects what you're gonna to want to do again go in your features and parameters it's gonna be communicating automatically to your ecm you're gonna to go to where it says road speed governor you're gonna click on the little plus sign go over to your right hand side you're gonna see the speed or the restriction in this case it will be 70 miles per hour customer wants us to change that because he's going to be traveling a little bit and he needs to bump it up so especially if you're in utah texas arizona whatever the case is change the speed however you want so in this case for the sake of this video i am just going to change it to 78 okay once you do that i usually just hit tab it'll bump it over and i think you might need to change the cruise control I've, it's been a minute since i've done this one uh same thing you're going to go to cruise control you can take a look there you can actually make the changes two at a time depending on what's going on see same thing 70 miles per hour so what that means is you're going to have a pedal speed of let's say 78 miles per hour and cruise control 70 or vice versa so you can set it up however you like click on 70 put it to what you want in this case again for the sake of this video we are going to put 78 Wait a few seconds, and then you're gonna go up here to the right. See where that little arrow and computer are, the little lightning bolt? Click on that. It's gonna ask you, do you wish to save this? It's gonna send it over to the ECM. Click on yes. It's gonna tell you one more thing. Switch off. Click on okay. So key is off, and then you've got to wait. What does it say here? A minute and 35 seconds. So let's do that, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so here we go. It is counting down, one second left. Tells you to turn the key on and then click on okay. Key on, click on okay. It should give you a little prompt saying that the feature was saved. Let's wait and see what happens. That's what happened last time and for some reason it just did not want to pop up. It froze on me and we'll go from there. Not sure why, but anyway, that's how you do the changes. There you go, see? Pretty simple. All parameters were written successfully to the ECM. So as of now, our cruise control, which is right up here on your steering wheel, and your pedal are now set to 78 miles per hour or whatever you designated to, okay? So again, keep in mind, be safe with that. And that's pretty much it. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, again, easy way how to do it. If you're not password protected, you can make those changes. 
just find someone that has the insight software and get it done guys if you like the video all i ask is a few things like bam and share subscribe have a great day appreciate it